What is a subdomain? So let's think of your website as a whole, like your house, and then a subdomain is like adding an extension to that house. So we've got blog.yourwebsite.com. That's your library. We've got store.yourwebsite.com, and that's your kitchen. It's adding different areas that are very distinctly easy to find. Subdomains can be a really great way of keeping things organized, and they can also be a really great way of testing things out slightly away from your main website. I'm James, this is WP Beginner. Do like the video and get subscribed. And if you do want any more information on subdomains or anything else related to WordPress, then please leave us a question down in the comments. Now, back to our subdomains. This doesn't mean that you should go ahead creating loads of different subdomains for each different thing you do because of SEO, because of how search engines and people treat them. So search engines treat subdomains as almost separate entities. So not only are you trying really hard to build the reputation of your website, boost your SEO and get further up those search rankings, you're gonna have to do exactly the same thing with your subdomain because your search engine sees them as two separate entities. Not ideal. Subdirectories, however, are actually something that you're going to find under your main website and therefore they're treated by search engines such as Google like part of your main website. So you don't have to worry about trying to build multiple websites reputations and boost their SEO. It's all going to come as one. But that doesn't mean that your subdomains don't have a place. Of course, if you want to keep your store separate, it's a really great way of doing that. And if you do want to just try something out, then a staging site with a subdomain could be very beneficial to you. Creating a subdomain isn't particularly difficult either. You can do it with your domain registrar or your WordPress hosting account. We're going to do it with Bluehost, but it's very, very similar with all hosting providers. So to create a subdomain in Bluehost, you need to log in to your web host account and click on the hosting tab. We're going to open the control panel and we're going to scroll down to the domains option. Of course, you're then going to click create a new domain. Nice and straightforward. Then on the next page, you're going to type the full name of your subdomain. So for example, if we wanted to start a store, it's store.yourwebsite.com. Once you've done that, click the submit button and congratulations, you have created your first subdomain. Really is that easy and they do have a whole host of benefits. So you've now got your store subdomain, which is great, but you need to start building trust because like I say, it is slightly separate to your main website. So a really good way of doing that could be with a social proof app. We absolutely recommend Trustpulse as the very best, but if you wanna check out some more information on social proof plugins, then do click this video right here.